Don't worry, you're not the only one that makes mistakes, but before turning in that paper or sending in that cover letter, let's take a look at the proofing features that you'll find in Word 2007. You'll find these commands on the Review tab in the Proofing group. In this group, there are a variety of features such as word count, which keeps track of the number of words, lines, and paragraphs in a selection. There are also several language features that translate text and allow you to set your language options. But the proofing command that you will probably use most often is the spelling and grammar tool. There are many ways you can use this tool. By default, the spelling and grammar check is on when you first use Word. You can see that as I was typing my cover letter, I misspelled two words, dear and exceedingly. The red and blue wavy lines indicate that something is misspelled. Word uses the blue line for this awesome new feature called contextual spelling. You know how sometimes you may get similar words confused as you type, such as there versus there, or in this case, dear like my dear Aunt Sally versus dear like the animal? Well, Word 2007 looked at how I was using the word dear and can tell that something just wasn't right. If I right click on the blue underlined word, I'm given a suggestion. In this case, Word only gives me one option to choose from, so I'll click on the correct word and you will notice that the correction was made. The red line also indicates a misspelled word. All I need to do is right click and again select the correct spelling of the word. Something looked a little out of place towards the bottom of the letter. Here it is. It looks as if I have too many periods. The grammar check works using the right click menu as well. And it looks as though I was correct. I have one too many periods. Let's see, something else was underlined. Ah, completes, huh. Let's right click and see what it says about completes. Okay, as you can see here, it gives me a suggestion, but let's go down to our grammar options and check it out. If I click on grammar, a dialog box appears and suggests that I change completes to complete. Okay, so I'll just click on change and it changes the word in my document. These lines are very helpful, but they cause quite a disturbance while I'm typing. I'm going to add an additional comma behind sincerely to demonstrate how we can change our options. I can prevent these lines from appearing as I'm typing by clicking on spelling and grammar. When I click on spelling and grammar, a dialog box appears. I can click on options and this brings up a word options dialog box. There are a couple of proofing options that you can choose from, but for now, I just want to get rid of those lines. When correcting spelling and grammar in Word seems to fit my needs. I can simply remove the check from check spelling as you type and click OK. From this point on, Word will not underline misspelled words in my document as I type. Now remember, the spelling and grammar tool is not 100% correct all the time, so you may want to get someone to look over your work before you turn it in. Good luck.